What is good, Mama Squad? And welcome back to, to our, our channel. channel. We are officially four weeks Yo. until the wedding. We are gonna be walking down the aisle. Y'all don't understand this, in four weeks, okay? We have been counting down the days and I just can't believe it. it's already four weeks away. We have to make sure everything is in line. We have to make sure our vows are written. We have to make sure the nerves are out. We have to make sure the nerves will that- yeah, the nerves are definitely not gonna be out. But we gotta make sure that every single piece to this puzzle, okay, we have a hundred plus different pieces to this wedding puzzle, comes together on one day at one time between 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. Yeah, pretty much. All day we have to make sure it goes right and we're freaking out. We're freaking out. February 23rd is gonna be the day everything changes. What day is today? 22nd. So you guys are gonna be seeing this the 24th. That means we have less than a month by the time that you see this oh video. Oh my god! So we literally are under four weeks right now as you're seeing this. I don't know what to do. I don't know, like, I like this is something that like you think about and you're like, oh my gosh, we're getting married. And it's like, we're a year away. We're eight months away. We're five months away. But no, this is literally like, like three weeks and like six days. We asked you guys on Instagram to ask us everything wedding. So make sure you guys follow us on Instagram so you guys can be a part of like, all of the questions that we do answer. Yeah, on our if you never watched any of our videos before, first of all, welcome. Second of all, we literally ask all of our questions on our YouTube video, on our Insta, yeah. for y'all to answer. And these are legit from you right now. So I keep seeing these this question, but it was, what are you guys doing for your honeymoon? The destination. Have we ever we said it, right? I think we did. We definitely did. We had to have. Do you want to tell them? Do you want to tell them? Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna say one thing and you tell me if we should say a location. We're pretty right. much staying over the water on a bungalow. Should we say the location? Have we said it? I don't even know if we have. I, I feel don't like know if we have because everyone's asking know. me. So I don't think, I don't think. All right, then have. I guess this is everything. Everything's changing. So in this video, for all of y'all watching, how about we just say it for the viewers that are yeah, watching we'll right now. It. All right, we are going to be staying in Jamaica on an over water bungalow type of hotel room. Yeah, so it's like private. It's like our own yeah. bungalow. We wanted to go to the Maldives, but it's a 30 hour flight. And for me, that just makes me really anxious and gives me anxiety. And We've been saying this for years. Like Mariah's always wanted to go to the Maldives. Like the Maldives was like the place to go. Location. And it was her dream location for years. Like we've said it in so many videos years ago. That was the dream, but then she was like, you know what? I didn't even realize Jamaica has the exact same thing and it's only like, what, a four hour flight? Five hour flight. Five hour flight compared to a 30 hour flight. Like I know nothing can at the end of the day beat the Maldives, like if that's what you dream. But this is like, I feel like next best thing, like 80% of yeah, what the Maldives is. Like I'm gonna be so happy with this. And like the hotel resort is like newer. It's like off of Sandals, Jamaica, which is like, the best like touristy honeymoony area we wanted this like one know. bungalow but if you guys don't know this things book out a year in advance like this bungalow that we originally wanted was booked out so i had to get like the next best one which we is still beautiful in march we booked this in march but like even those year. were even the top tier ones were booked. and we were limited like literally there were only a few left and that was a year ago and that's but when we booked it that's crazy this bungalow is beautiful it is no beautiful. matter what well like, actually i mean it kind of makes sense that they're booked out a year in advance because usually people that get engaged book, book it, it for a year yeah, later yeah. so like so I feel sense. like that makes sense. Yeah. And I feel like you're not just gonna stay there for fun most of the time. Yeah. It's for a big thing, like an engagement yeah. or a celebration, anniversary, something like that. So what color are your bridesmaids, groomsmen, and if there was something you had to change, would you change it? This is first, this is first. Y'all are gonna hear this. This is super, super big news. So listen up this next this last two minutes minute. of talking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with mine, cause mine's simple. Okay. All my groomsmen are going to be, they're gonna be in like a light gray nice suit with a pink bow tie and brown yeah. shoes I'm gonna be in we no we're not gonna tell okay, you okay we can't name. tell you mine but I'm gonna be no. in brown shoes as yeah. well to match all the groomsmen because that goes so well with light gray here's where it gets more complicated because Mariah had it and she'll explain everything her size so, what's been going on this is like recent this is in the past like week week yeah so I am doing a blush pink which is something I've turned up my whole life which my favorite color has always been pink going to be beautiful oh, and, and it complements the light gray groomsmen so much and it complements our vibe and yes. the scenery and the and the look of it all like, and the we're pastel -y, very, like flavor of the venue because the venue is super pastel -y, right we're very bright people yeah like we like bright we like like as you can see there's nothing really yeah. dark in our house except 
the dark I hallways. I do like black accents in houses, like everything like that, like our next home. Like there's gonna yeah, be. like white yeah. with black accent. Here is like a white with gray and All right, silver. We're, we're going off tangent. Pretty much, I had a couple days ago dilemma where I was like, oh babe, I really wish we did a black and white wedding. I wish we had our groomsmen and bridesmaids in black and yeah so everybody be in black and then we would be in white or i would still be in black but i would have a white shirt no i feel like i would still want you and i'm not yeah we're not gonna talk okay, about well, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't so, too much about mine. but um, that's that's the dilemma that's been going on so that's the dilemma that's been going on i am planning to incorporate the black and white theme for rehearsal which will honestly be really good and my morning outfits that i got my bridesmaids are in black so at least i'll still incorporate that it'll be like a little different style then you'll get a lot of i'm sure photos up there as oh well. yeah so you can post like those style but the main theme is still we're still keeping the, the blush pink and uh light gray which i'm vibe. very 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 oh my very gosh. it's very gonna look so happy good. especially with all the whites yeah uh, like the flowers that we're doing and the greenery that's all around oh, like, yeah. it's gonna look amazing that's the only thing yeah. I, if i could change i would but like at the same time like I'm still incorporating it. I love that art. It's different though You know, it's just it's still very beautiful to me I kind of like the pictures of the pink and gray better than the black on white for me I just feel like we pop more with the black, but we would definitely pop more but to me It's like I think it looks good, but I think the pictures look a lot more developed and like boom and beautiful with the lighter color that's just my, that's my personal No, opinion. I agree, I agree. Either way, it's gonna be amazing, but that's been our dilemma. I'm sure y'all can understand, like, with all the stresses of everything coming together within the next four weeks, like, this is the time that Mariah... Okay, d skip that. Talk about your wedding dress real quick. Oh. This is second dilemma within the last week, I swear okay, to God. This okay, is, this is no. the, the pressure no, that's like... No, 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 it is the pressure because you start overthinking everything. So talking about I think dress. it's overthinking... I, listen, I'm, I'm, I don't feel like this way anymore. I, you know? I was, no, I'm done. I was having a dilemma, which I was thinking like, oh, I wish I had picked a different wedding dress. But, <laughs> but I don't feel like yeah. that anymore. This dress is so <clears throat> crazy. Like this dress is literally everything. I can't even put to a T. Like this dress is like freaking fairy tale. That's all yeah. I gotta say. It looks amazing. You don't even know what it looks like. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know it's So cool. no, I don't have a dilemma about my dress anymore. I know in my heart i picked it for a reason i just think when the wedding starts to come you start to like overthink everything like oh my god should i pick something else should i've done this that's why i'm overthinking should i have done a black and white wedding like it's it's not that i want to do that it's your mind starts to play tricks on i you. told her for the second wedding she, she can do it yeah I'm or, kidding, no, I'm kidding, I'm renewal kidding. Renewal of the vows, we could do that. We're doing a whole new wedding for that? Like 10 years on no, the road? No, not like an actual, it's just like You're renewing cute. your vows. You but know? at the end of the day, she is oh, sticking I love my wedding with her dress. wedding dress. Well, and duh. I already know it's gonna be amazing. No, this dress, you guys, I already have insane. like, I don't have an image of what I think it's gonna look like, but I know what it's not gonna look like. What do you think it's not gonna look like? Okay, I just wanna say, cause when I saw you bringing the bag, when we were packing the wedding dress bag, this dress is like super, it seemed like it was super big, even though it was flat in the bag, it seemed like it was super big. So I feel like it's gonna be a bigger dress. That is my opinion. I am not saying it's not a slim fit. Yeah, but it fit, was double packed, it was but double bag. I just wanna say, I'm not, I'm not gonna hide anything. I'm not thinking about it in my head, but when we were packing it up to get into the suitcase, I was like, damn, this is a lot of material. I wonder if it's gonna be like a big dress, but at the end of the day, I still don't know what it's gonna look like. It could come out pink for all I know. It's not gonna be pink. Uh, it better not be pink. So no, I'm not overthinking my dress. Love my dress. My dress is literally perfect. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys going to sleep in the same house the night before the wedding? Ooh, no. No, we're not. So the bridesmaids have their own Airbnb and the groomsmen have their own Airbnb. So the Isn't guys that crazy? We're separate. not gonna see each other until the morning of? Am I gonna see you the morning of? No, I'm not gonna see, see you until, until the aisle. Oh. Yo! Out. We watch too much Love is Blind and What about you show up? Oversight. Bro, your isn't your suite? Oh no, yours is on the opposite side. My suite where the guys are gonna be chilling upstairs faces where we're getting married. So I can see everything. I was gonna say, what about you like didn't see me up there? Mm. You just saw me peel away. I'm like, I'm I like can't you start to feel anxious because my I drink too much Alani energy drink. She gets too much caffeine in there. She no, starts, I did. I started I did cuckoo, and I'm like, I'm like, I feel like. Mm. No, I'm not gonna back out the freaking wedding. I know. Well, all y'all know that. But yes, 
I am not going to be seeing this girl until the it's aisle. so crazy. And I'm probably going to see her in the morning of the day before, but like the whole rest of the day, I'm just going to be hanging out, getting wasted okay. and hung over for the wedding. Failed. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So, I'm going to save that for the actual ceremony. Yeah, I'd be so mad if he, he was drunk. I told him, you Yo. were drunk at the end of the extra reset party. What about what about you're getting ready? What about you're getting ready, putting on your wedding makeup, getting your hair done, and all of a sudden you just hear shots, 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 like downstairs, and it's just all of us like shots, yeah, go Phil, do a keg stand, you know? We're we're just like pissed. I know, I'm just kidding. No, I'm sorry. I would never do that. I just think it's super funny because like she's been tweaking that I'm gonna do it. I'm not yeah, gonna drink. The group I'm not gonna the drink. Group you are with. I'm not Are gonna we? drink. I promise if I drink, it's gonna be one drink and even one drink, I weigh 200 pounds. It's not gonna be. Alright, 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 alright. Next question <laughs> What do the wedding bands look like? Do you wanna grab the wedding bands? Um, Where are they at? In the safe? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna talk to them about Be right back. So, I do regret the wedding band that I did get, which is crazy. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, whoa. Okay, I got you the first one. Okay, the you first. You regret mine. Okay, no, I don't regret. Uh, I couldn't. I didn't pick the first exactly. one. So the first wedding band that I got came with this ring, and it was like a, it matched it perfectly. Love it, pretty, but I wanted more. So when I went to go get pick out my wedding band, I regret not getting the eternity band, which it goes all the way around, like the diamonds go all the way around, and I realized. The ring that I got was the same price as the Eternity Band, and I didn't realize. And everyone's like, make sure you get an Eternity Band, make sure you get an Eternity Band, because it like, when it like rotates, you don't have to worry about it like having to adjust it. I might change my wedding band before the wedding. I don't know yet. I'm kind of waiting to hear from this company, but I do still love my wedding band. It's still very beautiful. It's perfect. I just wish it wrapped all the way around. That's the only thing I would switch on it. But I do take my rings off when I go to bed, um, when I shower, when I go to the gym. So like it, the, my ring is technically not on me all day long. So I don't really think it would turn as much. All right, I am finally back. So we have two. You already explained. Yeah, you, I you have two. two. And I told them I wish I had an eternity band. But this one's still beautiful. No, it is. And I was telling them the eternity band was the same price as the other one, and I realized it. I do really like that one too. This one's just cute. Do I want to like put an extra? Yeah. One? See? Okay, show them. Show them. This All is right. what came with the so ring. So this is my original band. This matches the ring to the T. This is identical diamond pattern as the ring. Identical size. Identical width. Identical everything. If you did watch our engagement videos or everything, I think I showed you this. If you did not, make sure to go watch them because they're amazing. But this is what it looks like. It's hard to see in the camera, but y'all can get the, look how beautiful that is. It is beautiful. Woo! Let me try it on. That is really cute too. Yeah. This is what that band looks like. Let All right, take it off. You're not supposed to put it on yet. No, I just want to show. I know, take it off now. Okay, that's what it looks like. I want to show them so they can decide which one they like. All right, let's try the other one. Show them the other one. Now this beautiful one you're going to see is a lot bigger diamonds. It doesn't match exactly to her ring, but it's freaking gorgeous. It is gorgeous. This is the one that she wishes that she uh, got it to go all the way around because this, most of them only go halfway because it sits on your finger and you don't even see the bottom and it kind of sometimes irritates your finger. It also depends on personal preference. That one looks beautiful. That one's so beautiful. Damn. So those are the two different types. Honestly, one is a little smaller than the other. I'll I like, probably still wear this band still. Yeah. And like wear it on like this hand or something. That looks beautiful. I was just like, is it that big of a deal to not have it go around? No, it really doesn't matter. Because it matches your other ring as well. I mean, in the future we can get another one. I mean, it's just, it's also up to you and what you like. Do we show mine or not? Yeah, let's show yours. Show yours. So mine, uh, it's uh, like a black ring and it's so freaking quiet. I need to make sure it fits still. Though. I wish you kind of got like a silver one to match me, like with diamonds on it, like a silver one. Yeah, but I don't really ever wear silver rings. Oh, which ones? This is what mine looks like. I know it's hard to see because it's darker, but it has like a decal on it. You can kind of see there's like slits in it. And mine like has like, it goes between gloss black and matte black. But those are, mine thing, I think mine's made out of tungsten carbine, if you're wondering. How did you know that? Because it says it on here. Oh. Tungs and carbine. Hmm. But yeah, those are our wedding bands as of right now. I love it. I think they're beautiful. And you're not supposed to put them on until the actual wedding. No, so you can This is going to be the that. thing that the person hands me and it's like, you may place the ring on her finger and then it's going to be like that, but. 
Yeah. It has a really beautiful ring though. Alright, that's the last time you're seeing it. We haven't taken these out in like months. No, we so. haven't. Next question is, how many guests are you guys having? Oh, this is a good one so, because we actually just got the final. Yeah, and I finally just did the seating charts. Yes, you guys also asked if we're having like assigned seats for um, the reception. So we have about 120 guests coming. And that I'm is huge. Actually shocked about because our wedding is pretty much a destination wedding. And remember, remember, we're originally from Chicago. And if you did not know that, like all of our family lives in Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. So like we have few people out here. We have like 20 people out here that are just like family and friends that we know from Florida, but like none compared to like Chicago. Yeah. So we thought we were gonna only have like maybe 75 people. Yeah. Turns out we have like 120 20. coming. Yeah. So this is actually gonna be like an awesome wedding. And also our seating chart, you guys have no idea what we have in store. Like what for, we're doing. Oh, for the seating chart? Yeah. Oh, for, you're talking about the like the wall thing? Yeah, that yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. thing is so dope. So it's gonna be like when people go to see where their assigned seat is. Yes, there are assigned seats because it's just easier. People knowing where they're going rather than on the day of, they're like all like confused and stuff. It is so cool. The place like, where they go to see, they get to do something at the same time. And it's like, it's so unique and it's so cool. We literally like saw this within the first month of deciding mm -hmm. what we wanted for our wedding with our wedding planner. And it was just like, we're actually doing it's it. Perfect. It's actually gonna be awesome. It's beautiful, I'm excited. We also have so many cool vendors. We're doing like kind candy gelato permanent jewelry we got a dj we going have up a there saxophone player that's playing during cocktail hour which is saxophone guys for oh my god we met this saxophone dude at a nice restaurant in naples yeah. like what a year ago plus yeah. and he actually we just hired him for our cocktail hour at our wedding so yeah. he's gonna be awesome he goes around playing the saxophone and he's so good at it and then we have like a live painter that's gonna be like painting people like i know there's things when people sit down they paint no this person's like actually painting while you're doing your own thing like yeah. they'll look at you and they'll start painting you it's so cool we have so many fun vendors that are gonna be there it's just crazy how it's all coming together like it's exciting it, yeah we're in the middle of like finalizing everything but like yeah. that's just like a little sneak peek of what y'all are gonna be seeing on our videos soon so make sure if you're not subscribed to our channel make sure to subscribe so you're ready and waiting for those wedding content videos to come out because they're going to be amazing and also turn on your post notifications so you get notified right away i'm excited okay so i know many of you guys have asked this as well are we doing a first touch are we doing a first look so we have decided we are doing a first touch and it's funny because we were going to not do a first look and then we were like let's do a first look and now we're like we're not doing a first look yeah, remember I we like went back and forth yeah a I months ago? the thing is i've always dreamed of bill seeing me for the first time walking down the aisle and there is a reason why i want him to see me for the first time walking down the aisle the entrance and the grand entrance that i have coming out of the venue is insane well it's also because like we wanted to take all of our pictures before right that's why we yeah. were going to do the first look if we did the first look we were able to get all the pictures over with before the ceremony but we moved our um ceremony earlier so, so we, we have pictures after because if we would have done a later ceremony the sun sets at like 5 36 and it's just yeah in february out here it's like sets way earlier yeah. so we have to make sure to get the photos and the photos will look beautiful because not only will it be daytime it'll be like sunsetty daytime so yeah. it's the sky's gonna look amazing hopefully um, there's no clouds so we can see uh, like all the colors and stuff but yeah there's a reason why you guys will see i don't want to give anything away um just because we don't want to share the venue or anything i don't want to give any hints but there's a reason why i want you to look and see me walk down the aisle yeah because it's gonna time. be like grand it's like a it's grand gonna be amazing. entrance it's a, it's a super grand entrance. also it's not like skydiving like i'm gonna come in on a snowboard like yeah. but it's grand for, it's, for for the looks it's the looks and the song that i'm walking down the aisle to which is gonna make me already cry is um can't help falling in love by Haley stainfield i feel like a lot like it's it's originally from elvis yeah but um it's like uh, wait, wise men say only fools rush but I can't help. And then it's just gonna be tears coming down, everyone's crying. It's gonna be amazing. Um, one last question I want to answer is are we doing a bachelorette and bachelor parties? Yes. Yes. We have our own separate things. Bill's is the week before the wedding. Mine is the week of the wedding. It's like super close, but it's like perfect amount of time where it's like a week before we're going to get them. She's going out 
I'm going out with all my boys and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be so fun. We'll probably also have videos on that as well. So we're going to, she's going to take oh, yeah. a camera. I'm going to take a camera and we're going to vlog the whole thing. I just want to say too, for video purposes, we will probably only be posting once a week when it hits our wedding. Um, so the wedding week will probably post once a week until we get our wedding video. Yeah. Just because I don't want to post random videos in between. I want to get you guys hyped, but we are planning to film everything before rehearsal, our bachelorette, everything. bachelor. So, so you guys we're still kind of saying, but it's it's at mo at least going to be once a week. Yes. Okay, we don't know twice a week, but at least once a week, just because we're going to be putting all these videos together, and then once the wedding videos come, it's just going to be boom, boom, boom. Y'all are going to see them all, and it's going to be. I can't wait to see I'm them. So excited. I'm not excited to give you your wedding gift. I'm excited for it all. Everything is literally changing. We hope you love this video. This is like a super, super sneak peek to everything that's been going I on. I wish we could answer I don't think everything. we ever went in this depth with everything, but I hope this gives you a good like- Gist. Gist of like what's going on. Yeah, but we are so excited. We cannot wait for you guys to be a part of this journey. We've been waiting for this for so long. And thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. But until, until then, then peace. peace. Love you guys. Peace.